Here's another exclusive clip from Wrestling Reality with Justin Labar, brought to you by Gladiators of the Cage. We are here live in living color. It has been uh, Juice is now back on the board. Juice was just a, a pace behind me in our race from uh, across the bridge. Uh, coming off, we are direct from New York City. Luggage and everything still in hand. Uh, quite the weekend. SummerSlam. Uh, it, it, I, I don't. I, I definitely think it lived up to the hype. I do not. I would not say it was a disappointment by any means. Um, it was just, as I said, the balloon popped towards the end. So the Undertaker wins the match. It's going to be in the record books. I think. That I've now I've now had two, I've had two nights of sleep on it, Juice, and I, I've come to the conclusion, based upon what they're probably going to do in the future, was we would think a third match because Paul Heyman then challenged uh, Taker to a third match. Based upon that, based upon kind of keeping Brock baby because Brock's going to be around, you know, more than Taker is. I think it was an okay idea, but it just it came down to they executed it poorly. Either whether it be I think number first and foremost because you have you know potentially a million people watching at home. The, the, the directing, the camera switching was off. They 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 just did not capture it, which is rare for WWE. They normally are so good at capturing moments. Uh, they, that's what they do great with, with is, is telling stories uh, with with TV. First off, they didn't capture the taker tap. Secondly, even in, even off of that, maybe positioning wise, when Brock goes to put Taker in the Kimura, they need to make sure they were twisted and turned and have have Taker facing the timekeeper. So I'm going to settle it with. It was a kooky ending. It's always going to go down as a weird ending. It's going to go down as kind of just a, a, a balloon pop. But I think in the grand scheme of things, when we look back in five years, we'll say, okay, well, that, that was the dicey thing that made them go to a rubber match. And, you know, we, you and I were joking about this, but it's how far off is it? And I know you, I think you were, you were quoting people that were speculating online. Uh, if they're going to do Brock Taker again, Brock Taker, if, if they actually absolutely do somehow push it all the way to Mania, that is a great time to have a you – need, you, need, you need somebody who's above the normal referees to sheriff this one because there's controversy and – if he's not going to wrestle, he can sh- damn sure referee, and that would be Stone Cold. Yeah, and he'd probably deliver a few stunners. Yeah, at least. You know? well, or it's one great moment, and all of them are toasting beer at the end of the match. If it's Taker's last, uh, one, I don't know. I, I I doubt it. Yeah, well, it, it would be against Brock's character at least. It wouldn't really yeah, make sense. Yeah, yeah. You know, we've seen Taker celebrate with Sean and, and Hunter, but that's not really Brock's well, style. Well, Brock already had the big old farewell stunner back at Mania 20. So that's true. The you sold out stunner. 